Hello, it's Gameplay back again and today I'm not going to do a review. I will have one of those up later on I think today. Uh, but today I'm going to talk about a piece of news that was announced last night. Now for those who don't know me that well, do not know my love for a certain 90s TV show. And obviously in the 90s, I was born in 93 and this show started in the 93 and 93 but I've loved this show all my life. I got the movie, brought two movies in my lifetime. I remember more, but I think all I can remember was two movies. And I've loved both of these movies since I can remember. Yeah, most people who know me will know what I'm talking about. This is actually the Power Rangers movie. Now as you can see, I'm holding up the VHS of Power Rangers. That's how much a fan of that. I still own my VHS copy of the Might and Morphin Power Rangers movie, or as I was a kid, I called it the Ivan Ooze movie. But then as a result, there is also, I also have it on DVD, since, you know, technology. I don't even think it's Mountain Blu-ray, or I have it in Blu-ray as well. But yeah, the news that's hit was last night, Lionsgate and Sabian have spoken out about making a live action reboot of the Night and Morphin film, uh, movie. Yeah, I'm a little bit sceptic of this. Um, I don't don't know if I want it because the Power Rangers have meant a lot to me over the years. I was, I was bullied. Don't feel sorry for me. Yeah, but I was, I was bullied as a kid, and Power Rangers was kind of my escape out of this bullying. And I watched Power Rangers, wishing I could be a Power Ranger. And even so to this day, even though I'm now 21 and I'm not a teenager and I can't become a Power Rangers really, my dream is still to become a Power Ranger, still to meet Zordon, still to meet Alpha and still to become a Power Ranger and fight, and fight all these baddies that see us put down into Angel Grove. That's my dream. <laughs> not whatever happened, but that's my dream. Don't destroy it. But yeah, my favourite character was David Jason Frank. That was Tommy and I loved him that much that... <laughs> Uh, when I was younger, my sister used to make me my breakfast, and I would you know, have my to my, I would have, I would have tubby toast from the top of uh, Teletubbies because it was a Teletubbies fan. We're talking like five year old here when we were talking about it when I was really, really young. And a thing called Tommy T. Now, Tommy T did last longer than that, but Tommy T basically was really milky tea. How you make tea is you put the water in, then the milk in. Well, this was the opposite. You put milk in, but you put lots of milk in, you put like half a cup full of milk and then you put the water in. So it was like a lot a warm watery milk with a hint of tea and a little bit of sugar. <laughs> so yeah, it was not that nice to taste nowadays I have to say. But still that was my love for Power Rangers. I had my breakfast was set out to be named after Power Rangers. And then my also my first you always get the the like on screen crushes when you fall in love with a celebrity thing. Like some people a lot a lot of girls who are into the Twilight franchise, there's is either does is usually Robert Parkson. Then there's also other things like I know when I was really when I was on it was Jennifer Anderson and now but back then it was the Pink Power Rangers Kimberly. I can't even tell you her real name. The only reason I know Jason David Frank's real name is because he does a web series on YouTube that I watch and it's called David Jason Frank My Modern Life. That's the only reason I know it. <laughs> but yeah, so if you can kind of tell, I kind of love Power Rangers. I've watched Power Rangers. My mum used to work and I would go around after school, after primary, I would go around to Mum's pals, Mum's friends back around the corner for where we stayed, the Lurries and we would sit. She had two boys, two twins, who, she had twins, and the two of them were my age, and then she had a boy, a year older than me. We'd sit in the twins' room, and we'd watch Power Rangers. That was the only time we were, we were, were quiet. We'd go, f we'd watch, we watched everything, like, space, Power Rangers in space. We watched MPR, whatever it was called. I can't remember all the names, but that was the only really, really good one was Mighty Morphins. But yeah, we watched Hunters, I watched every Power Rangers. I thought, I think the last one I stopped, when I stopped, stopped watching it was when Jason David Frank came back as the Black Power Ranger. I tried to watch it again and couldn't because it was so bad and just didn't fit the realm of the Power Rangers. 
and I've tried to watch a few of the episodes every season since it's come out just so I can see what's going on in the world of Power Rangers like that new one, the ninja samurai thing which just looks terrible but yeah, I've been keeping an eye out on Power Rangers I still love it, it's still one of my cool, it's still my all time favourite film list it's one of my guilty pleasures I put in my list yeah, it's a film I love it. so this news has made me a little bit sceptical about, because a lot of remakes nowadays or reboots aren't too great. I recently watched the Robocop reboot, a remake anyway, and it wasn't that good. I watched the Carry one, and again, it wasn't that good. I had a debate on Facebook about this last night, and people were mentioning other films, and okay, some reboots are good. Some, some are years ago, like, Five years ago, reboots were in full swing and they were making actually quite good reboots. Like the Total Recall film was quite a good reboot. The Rise of Planet Apes was a good reboot. They are making, they are making some good things. Like I wanted to make this film about a year ago. Ah, about a year ago before they started making really, really bad remakes this year. I wanted to make Power Rangers. Oh, that was my thing. That was a, it was more a second thought of when I'm older. I want to make a Power Rangers movie. And then I forgot about it. But yeah, so, so that's the news that I thought would make me happy. But not with the trend of remakes and how bad they are nowadays. Plus, people are saying Dark Knight. When I start talking about this, people are mentioning Dark Knight. Now, I don't want a Dark Knight version of Power Rangers. Now, people who know me will know I'm not a big fan of the Dark Knight tra- franchise. I do own every Batman film. In fact, from if I saw of yesterday, I own every live action Batman film brought out. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like the Dark Knights, Dark, the Dark Knight trilogy. Not towards Christian Bale, because Christian Bale's a fantastic director. I'm not against Christian Nolan, because Christian Nolan's a great director. Just did not like that franchise. So people are saying that it's going to become, and we're going to have a Dark Knight. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, if that happens, I will lose all hope for humanity. That'll be it. That'll be it. I'll be done. There'll be no point in me ever watching movies ever again. I will give up movies because this is Power Rangers. It's supposed to be cheesy and really, really rubbish. Good thing though, that I heard, I watched uh, somebody else doing one of these, a sort of a view on Power Rangers. And he had actually got the press statement because he's done stuff for Power Rangers. And in the press statement spoke about them not using any of the footage that they do. See how when you watch Power Rangers, so they always have like footage from they're like in somebody's back garden style and then next minute they're in Japan where they're not doing this and this is a straight 100% American f- film. None, none of it is stock footage from the original show in Japan like they had to stick, stick off of. That's a good idea, personally. I like that idea. Also, David Jason Frank. I don't care about anybody else being in the movie. Kimberly, I don't care if she appears in it, don't care. Don't care if Billy appears in it, if Adam appears in it, if any of the Power Rangers appear in it. But Jason David Frank must appear in this movie at one point. Personally, I would love to see him as Zordon. I don't know how you feel. Let me know down below. But yeah, I think David Jason Frank is Zordon would be a nice wee nudge nudge wink wink to the fans of the show from the nostalgic point of view. The people who are watching this film for the first time, that's interested in this film for the first time, they're not going to know who David Jason Frank is. Whereas the people who are big fans of the original series, who's I'm going to go to pictures. I'm going to go to pictures to see it. I know I'm not. David Jason Frank as Zordon would be a nice wee wee Look, it's Zordon plus Alpha. They better not make Alpha this badass robot just because the, the, the times have changed and they can do this now. No, Alpha has to be this weak. Aye, 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 character, that's it. But it has to have this cool lightning bolt on his chest because it's Alpha. Yeah, that, that's that's my views on this film. Um, I'm going to wait. I'm, I'm making too much big thoughts into the film. I'm going to wait until trailer comes out eh, because you know it could be good it could be Transformers Michael Bay big explosions 
Yeah, I don't like Michael Bay director. I know you can see him in Transformers stuff behind me, but um, yeah, I like Transformers, but Michael Bay doing Power Rangers so will be too many explosions. I know Power Rangers already has big explosions, but yeah. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stick to just watching, waiting the trailer coming out and listen to out the news. I'm never more excited for this than I am for the Star Wars remake or say uh, sequels trilogy. Yeah, I am I'm a geek. Sorry. But yeah, so comment down below what your thoughts on this collaboration, this remake, this reboot thing is. And I will see you later. Uh -huh.